CAT security pen testing tutorials. Today I'm going to go over a program called Spiderfoot. And um, this is just a great little uh, OS intelligence program that you can use. Now, I'm not going to go over the whole download and install because if you don't have that figured out by now, you probably shouldn't be messing with this. Uh, by now, you should add a clone into your directory. Um, here's the main website. They do have their own website, uh, which you see here, um, that you can use. But um, what I would recommend is um, just grabbing it from GitHub. And I'll have both links available below the video, so you'll, you'll have those also. And just go here and clone, clone it into your directory and do your setup. When you get it into your directory, you'll have a little setup file there to run. See right there. So you'll do Python setup by install, and that will install everything for you. Okay. All right. So we're already installed here, so we're going to run it. So we're going to do Python, whoop, Python, if I can spell, and SF for Spiderfoot, okay, and of course the PY extension for Python file. We're going to hit Enter, and that starts up a little back server. And you see, it tells you starting web server, and it even gives you the address here, okay. So then you would go to your web browser, and we'll open a fresh page. And we'll go to our logins because I keep all these bookmarked. Just to make it quick and handy. So here's Spiderfoot. Now you see we have no scans right now in our history. So we're going to do a new scan. And we're going to call this test scan. Okay. And let's see, the starting point for the scan. Alright, well, we can give it an email address or we can give it a um, a domain as you see here um, let's give it let's let's um, let's go to our domain <laughs> I'm gonna go just put it on my domain um, I give myself permission so there we go um, you see you have different selections here put print and it ex explains to you gives you a description of each one investigate and passive okay so I'm going to do the noisy one. I'm going to go ahead and click all. And I click run scan and then it starts running. Now they have a, a really, really nice interface here. Um, so I'm going to wait and actually let this get a little bit of information to, um, to be able to show you. <laughs> go it's starting to grab some goodies now so we know we're not stalled it is running <laughs> here we go look at this so now it's starting to grab things out and you see it shows total and unique links there's some errors there. Oh, uh oh, I need to check the errors. I might have a couple of dead links on my site since I just changed everything. Now, so we can go to browse where as it grabs things, you can go and look at it a little bit more in depth. You can have a uh, graph view here where you can look at all the different connections and how they are. Here's your scan settings, which I should have shown you first. I'm sorry about that, but that's your scan settings, and you can change it, but it shows what everything is, and it's running now. So we'll go back here to status and see, and it shows us a little information here too. How many elements and everything. Oh, we got another one on there. Okay. And you have the overall settings or global settings right here. You see, it has a reset to factory. So, if you feel you goofed on anything, you know, feel free to do that. I'm not going to take the time to go through each and every one of these because that'd be a very long, dull, and boring tutorial. None of us wants that. 
but you see the ones with the little padlocks I do want to go over that okay the reason they have those is because they require a little something extra all right um, and what that is is you need to get API keys for most of these like most of you are familiar with Shodan, Shodan or Shodan or however you want to say it um, by now. Uh, if you're not, you should be. But you see it just has a place for you to put in your API key. Uh, which is uh, easily available at the t upper top right when you log into Shodan. So. But anyway, that's the little thing you need to pay special attention to because it can't grab information from those unless they have the API keys and uh, you may run into one or two that's not available anymore or it's changed a little bit um, it takes a long time to write a application of this caliber and um, occasionally you have one or two things that will change on you so I'm sure um, or at least I hope that that will be fixed in future versions but this is all your settings here when you're done with it you just click save changes and and you're done there. We can always go back to scans and here's our test scan and it shows us it's running. So you can have you know different scans linked here to look through and we're gonna go back to test scan and see what we got so far. Bunch of stuff, whole bunch of goodies. So I guess I need to look through this and see if I have any kind of weak points or, or leak links or anything that they're missing or looks like there. So anyway that's spider foot for you. Um, oh, see, we have an error there. I'll have to look into that. You can, oh, by the way, you can download the information from each one, so, uh, which is very important when you're doing uh, this information as a pen tester and not just uh, learning the craft. Um, you can go here to download it. So, man, it gives you different formats. Okay, and if you need to delete it, you can delete it like we're gonna delete that one because we were just doing it for a, a demo. So that's Spiderfoot. Um, check it out. It's a good app. Thanks for joining us today. And have a good one. And we're going to close out with Control-C. Bye for now.